it's always a pleasure to, you know, to, you know, to put it down in Brooklyn, you know. I mean, this is where I came up at. I'm going to different high schools around Brooklyn, battling rappers, you know. This is where it all started for me. And plus having the whole band together and everybody. So I'm really, really excited. I mean, people are going to come tonight because they miss the essence of what hip-hop is all about, and that's what Kane represents. He's a living legend, you know? I mean, ain't no half-stepping. One of the best hip-hop songs ever. You're talking about a guy who had, like, double entendres, uh, metaphors, still had grace to make something that women can relate to. Big Daddy Kane dances. He gives you such a performance. You can understand everything he's talking about. It's, it's the good music and it's his lyrics. Follow me on this one. Let it roll, get bold. I just can't hold back the fold because I'm the man with soul. In control and effects of what the heck? Rock the disco. One, two, three, go! Attack, 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 the man with the music. I saw a song that's long and the blue I keep the ground out with you. I can do damage on stage and answer the mic. To me, I look at this whole rap thing as an art form. So I'm trying to paint a picture. I'm trying to make sure that it's a very vivid picture. It's bright. It's beautiful. It's also complex. I want it to be with twist and turn. So like when you listen to that same rhyme three months later, you hear something else. I mean, Kane was one of the first cats to really get up, come out of that juice crew that was, you know, aggressive, that aggressive, I call it aggressive, healthy hip-hop. Some people call that the golden era when Kane was out, and, you know, lyrics were important. You gotta always remember that back in the late 80s, it was a very, very, very lyrical time period. You had artists like KRS-One, Rakim, Cool G Rap, Chuck D, King Sun. There was a lot of, you know, rappers that was, you know, spitting, you know, heavy lyrics. So you know you gotta you gotta really step it up. And I wrote, I'll make a muscle, grab the mic and hustle. You know, like the next line, you know, I was, like I think I might have walked away from it for a minute to try to figure out like, where I'm gonna go with with, th with this one. And you know, to come up with all uh, uh, mic and hustle. While you stand days in a maze, I bust a little, you know, so making bustle rhyme with muscle and hustle, you know, I was like, okay, yeah, 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 that's hot. Till the a.m., I'll make a muscle, grab the mic and hustle. When you stand days in a maze, I'll bust a little rhyme with authority, superiority, and captivate the whole crowd with majority. Rhymes like you, definitely immune, better than Dynasty, or you'll see blue, but you want to score and do it for more without a flaw, cause I get raw. Scoop lovers, scoop lovers in the building. When you come to a cane show, you know, be prepared to be entertained. about James Brown and Fabulous Flames, you know. So um, from knowing that from childhood, that's something I wanted to incorporate the show. Say it loud! Once more, come on, say it loud! He's actually one of the premier MCs as well, someone that actually can motivate the crowd and move the crowd and still be an elite lyricist. There's only a very few. You do pound for pound, he's one of the best ever. You know, after the, so many years, you know, uh, 21 years, to still have, you know, a strong fan base that shows support and enjoy seeing the shows and, you know, talking to me about the songs or the lyrics. You know, that, that motivates me all the time. 
What motivates me lyrically is the lack of lyrics. And I think it needs to get back where someone has something to say. You know, even if it's not the most lyrical thing, at least something educated, you know. Hopefully that you hear me spit something new and it might drive you in that direction. When I come through, I, I come to, you know, come full force. That's the way I do things. I, I like to let people know that you can't be half-stepping, you know what I'm saying? You got to, you know, always be on top of your game, playing with your A-game. Brooklyn Independent Television on the BCAT TV Network.